Hello and welcome to my video. This is going to be a video about small businesses that are on Etsy that I've purchased from. I'll have all of the links below of which stores the items that I'm going to show you came from. These items I did not get all at once. I've had some of them for a few years now and there are some other ones that are newer but it's not like I bought all of these all at one time. It's been over time. So I will get started. I have a little list of where each uh, thing that or set of things that I'm going to show you came from. Please don't mind that I'm going to look a little bit different in this part of the video than the rest of the video. I got in three adorable items today. <laughs> They're so cute. And I wanted to make sure that they got included in this video. They are from Butt Plush. I've followed her on Instagram and her stuff is just so cute. Oh my gosh. And the sticker came with it. Just so adorable. Little kitty. So the first of the items that I got from Butt Plush. <laughs> just such a funny name is this adorable little ditto bean beanie I like the noises he makes it's a little shiny ditto pokemon it's super super soft all three of these are really really soft <laughs> so this is the first one and then I also so got these two ridiculously cute Sailor Moon kitties. Look at the cute little detailing and their little bell collar. And then one of my favorite parts about them So cute and soft. And this is the other one. I actually just recently finally started watching Sailor Moon. Um, I, around the time that I was growing up, Sailor Moon was on TV and I watched a few episodes here and there but I never really got into the show to be completely honest but I've just always loved like Sailor Moon merchandise and like the cats from Sailor Moon and everything so I finally started actually watching the show and get over how adorable these are. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, so with the next items and the rest of them, I'm going to look the same as I did in the intro of the video. Let's get into the rest of the items. So the first three items are from the same store. They're from DBT Design Printables, and as the name implies, they are printables, so she sends, I believe it's a she, they send you PDF files and then you can print it out on your own. I printed out these DBT cards. I have cardstock that I printed them out onto, and they're really helpful. 
they have the different DBT skills on them and I love the design and the colors and I think they were really beautifully done and then she also has a DBT chart a cheat sheet I actually keep one of these next to my bed on my wall and it has the different DBT skills when she sends this there's actually many different color schemes that you can pick from so as an example of the sheet here's the ABCs of DBT A. Accumulate positive experiences B. Build mastery do one thing a day to feel competent and in control and see cope ahead of time for emotional situations and if you're in DBT therapy you'll know what all these things are it's not really something where you know necessarily certain things if you weren't already involved in the therapy but if you're in DBT therapy or you're learning about it then this shop is really helpful And then the last item from there that I wanted to show you is a DBT diary card. Uh, my therapist has been trying to get me to consistently do a diary card and sometimes I'm good about it and sometimes I'm just not to be completely honest and I need to get more better at it. At the top here it has uh, a few things to track such as target behavior and emotions and skills. And then it has it broken down by the different sections such as mindfulness, interpersonal effectiveness, emotional regulation, and distress tolerance. And then it has it further broken down into different sections and then the different skills. So this is super helpful. The next items I have to show from you are from this company called Polka.Q. And this is actually my newest items that I received, so they're still in the packaging, which is adorable. Check out that packaging. You can't really see the bee in here. I'll show you in a second. But, but it's packaged super cute with these cute little bags. So this is the bee keychain. And it's super super cute this part up here is the part that opens it's a little bit stiff which is probably good for the longevity of it and here's the little bee acrylic keychain so cute and then I got four buttons I'm sorry with the lighting it's bit difficult to see but here's this adorable little kitty and it's in a cup of tea and it says meow and then yeah and then we have a little blue penguin who's super cute and then we have an axolotl which you'll see other items with axolotls on them and then a lucky kitty So I really love their artwork style and they make really cute stuff. The next item is something I'm wearing, which is this cute little rainbow bracelet. It has these little faceted glass beads that are nice and shiny and pretty and I thought it was super super to tie a knot to get it to stay but I'll untie it real quick to show you the way it closes um, the this part is um, like a very smooth and 
and silky material and it just opens and closes by adjusting the Put it in, and it's super easy to put on it just I just grab these and pull them and then like I said I'd like to put a single knot in it just to keep the um, keep it from moving just because like I said it's it's a very silky um, string and then that just keeps it in place Next, I have two items from a store called The Tall Grass. This first one is a Cubone pin. I love, love, love Cubone. He's my favorite Pokemon. When I saw the Cubone in the um, live action, And then I have this cute acrylic keychain and it's double-sided and it's the evolution of Flareon who is my favorite of the evolutions. That's the shiny Flareon which I love so much. I have a shiny Flareon. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. And this one opens like that. y'all that I would have more axolotl items and here they are these are from peppermint narwhal um these and I have three other pins that I'll show you I had actually gotten all of these from kickstarters but they also sell pens in their shop as well as some other stuff and I really like following Peppermint Narwhal because they have a lot of information about different animals and especially different endangered animals and information just about like different species and a lot of really cool animal information and the artwork as you can see is just so amazing and so cute and I really really like them but here's the So all of these pins that I showed you are of animals that are actually either endangered or critically endangered, which is very sad. And the, another cool thing about peppermint and narwhal is that they um, contribute a portion of their earnings towards conservation efforts. And I think that another cool thing about them with their social media presence is they try to inform people about the fact that there's a lot of endangered and critically endangered species so that people are more mindful and aware of that happening. Next, I'm going to show you these pouches by Blackford Cottage. I've actually been buying from Blackford Cottage for a while and I really like their Etsy store. These pouches are really great. They fasten like that. And they are padded. I 
I used to use them for oracle and tarot cards, but now I just like to put miscellaneous stuff in them. And sometimes some inspiration cards and stuff like that. They're really, really good, high quality. They've held up really, really well over the years, and I really recommend them. Next, I have something really cute again. It's this cute little dragon friend. I think I've shown this little dragon friend in a video somewhere else before, too. This little guy is from the Dragon Horde. It's made of um, some sort of plastic or acrylic type material. It's flat on the bottom and this one is from 2017. It's dated on the bottom. And the dragon horde has some really cute dragon items as well as some other uh, real and mythological little friends. I love keeping an eye on their shop and seeing the new things that they make. They're very cute. Next, I have these three beautiful amethyst card holders. These two that I put on the bottom right here are from one shop, and this one is from a different shop. The top one is from SJ Letter Co. and the bottom two are from Rock Paradise. And I'll show you what they look like with cards being held. This one is what it looks like holding a card. This is a Therapets card. I made a video on the Therapets cards. It was actually one of my favorite videos I've made recently, so if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you go and watch it. They're really cute and inspirational little messages, but this isn't about the cards, it's about the card holder. So this is the first one, and again, this one's the one from SJ Letter Go. This is the second card holder, and this one I have been having Bible verse cards that I have sitting in. And this is the third card holder. And again, these two card holders are from Rock Paradise. They would make really good card holders also for events or wedding place card holders. I like to put like positive message cards on them or like I have these Bible verse cards on them, or you could even use them to hold like a greeting card or something. They're really helpful, and they're really pretty, and I really like them. And then the last two items that I have here to show you tonight are from Thorn and Moon, and they are fragrance oils. This one that I'm showing you right here is called Somber Eve. It smells so good. It has like a very mossy, woodsy smell. And it's... This might sound a little bit morbid and maybe off-putting to certain people, but to me it's not. But it kind of reminds me of like the way you would imagine a cemetery smelling. Like a little bit of like that like mossy with mixed with like dirt and trees type of smell, and that might sound awful to certain people, but I really, really love this type of smell. It's very mysterious, and to me, like, I find it very calming and cozy, but, I mean, different people like different scents, but it smells so good. And then this other one is called Blood Wit. And 
this one I've had described to me as what a head shop smells like like in a good way <laughs> like incense and some sort of like earthy and fruity smells mixing together it, it definitely smells like some sort of like incense, not like a patchouli incense, but some sort of like floral and earthy scents mixed together. I don't know like the exact, I mean, I probably should have looked up for this video what the exact flavor notes it says are in it, but that's how I describe it. It smells so good. I really, really love also mixing these two together because they smell amazing when you mix them together because this one has like a very earthy and this one's a little bit sweeter and has a sweetness to it so they smell amazing mixed together I've also um, gotten samples of several other of their scents and I really really love them uh, I'll probably buy more full sizes and a few other of the scents that they have I will let you know that it does take um, a little bit of time to get these so when you order them know that it's going to take some time to get them, but they do smell really good and I really enjoy them. And the last note that I'd like to make about them is they're not the longest wearing because they're fragrance oils, but they do last several hours and even if you reapply them, it's totally worth it because they just smell so good. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed seeing these small business items. Again, I will have the shops linked down below in the description box so that you can check them out if you're interested in anything. Um, I like to support small businesses, especially because I have a small business and I know it can make a really big difference to people. So, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this and found some of these items interesting and cute and I hope that you will have a great rest of your morning, day, night, whatever time it is and I'll see you again